And welcome back to the show. For 20 years, gift-filled shoeboxes have brought joy and hope to millions of children around the world at Christmas time. Now, one shoebox from Wisconsin traveled to the Dominican Republic to mark a milestone. Hi, my name is Evelyn and I'm 12 years old. This is the story of a young girl from a small town in Wisconsin with a big dream. I've wanted to help the poor for a really long time. I was praying for it since I was six years old that I would be able to help the poor. Evelyn Pino's prayer was answered when she heard about Operation Christmas Child, an outreach headed by Franklin Graham, elder son of evangelist Billy Graham. The idea, fill shoeboxes with gifts and deliver them to needy children around the world. You wouldn't think that a, a simple gift like this could, could have that kind of impact. But for kids that are in orphanages, kids that are in poverty, kids that are living in dumps, kids that are in areas of conflict, war, to give them a gift to let them know that uh, there's somebody that knows who, who they are and cares about them and loves them. Evelyn was that somebody. She started the shoebox club at age eight. It began small but grew quickly. Around 80 kids meet each month now to pack shoeboxes. We've been running for four years. In those four years, we have packed 2,500 shoeboxes. I want to help kids because I want them to be able to feel loved and know about Jesus, like I do. Kids helping kids around the world, that's my motto. You see, her shoeboxes represent millions of lives touched by a simple act of kindness. 10 million shoeboxes will be hand-delivered this year by land, air, sea, trucks, boats, trains, and even elephants. In December, the project reached a milestone, delivering shoeboxes to more than 100 million children since starting in 1993. What a great reason to celebrate today. Inspired by her passion for helping the poor, 12-year-old Evelyn Pinner was picked by Operation Christmas Child to hand deliver the symbolic 100 millionth shoebox to a young child in the Dominican Republic. Here, guys, do you need help over here? She turned to her friends at the shoebox club for help in putting the 100th millionth box together. They decorated it with a white paper covered with handprints from all the children serving in the group. Thanks, everyone. I couldn't have done it without you guys. <laughs> then for several weeks... I love you. I'm proud of you. Love you, Dad. You're so awesome, sweetie. Thanks, Dad. She crisscrossed the country, taking the special shoebox on tour. This is actually... Operation Christmas Child's 100 million shoe box, and we're going to need all of your guys' help to pack shoe boxes. At each stop, people put different mementos in the box. Then on a recent Wednesday morning... The last time we were sitting in a car traveling through a city, we were in New York, dreaming about this moment, and now we're finally here. Are you so overwhelmed? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm practicing my Spanish. Thousands of miles from her home in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Wow! Finally here. Evelyn's prayer of helping needy children was answered. Well, it's a simple box with simple toys. In this particular box is a stuffed animal, some tissues, uh, hygiene material. A book, but you know, for Samaritan's person, Operation Christmas Child, a simple box with a powerful message. Each box delivered to these kids in the name of Jesus Christ. At each distribution, the gospel is shared, and children are given the opportunity to learn more about Christ through a 12-week discipleship program. God can do anything, and if you believe that God can do anything with you, then anything can happen. I am finally here in the Dominican Republic. I finally get to be able to go and deliver this box to a little girl. In a small village in the Dominican Republic, Evelyn met five-year-old Brenda Valdez. What's this? And handed her the special shoebox filled with toys, school supplies, and a pink children's Bible. Nunca se un regalo como esto. It's in the bottom. The two girls spent time going through the presents. One special item was a heart-shaped necklace with the words best friends forever. Brenda broke it into giving one half of the necklace to Evelyn as a reminder of their special bond. Amen. 
George Thomas, CBN News, in the Dominican Republic.